class. Let's round up, you're gonna be late for school. I'll see you there in five minutes. All right, all right, cool. Okay, you all look so beautiful, my angel. I think you're so excited, right? <laughs> Where you guys ready, Dad? Hey, ladies, there's been a change of plans. Actually, we're not going to be going out again today. Why? They're already dressed. I know, I just got a call from the office. They said I should come now. On a Saturday? I'm, I was confused myself. Come on, don't, don't give me that face. I'll make it up to you guys, right? Um, take this. You can, you know, take them out. Wherever you guys choose to go, I can come and meet you guys up there later. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, all right? Don't worry. We'll go out tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay? Let's go, so and change. <laughs> Don't worry, my babe. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, girls. There is more where mm. this is coming from. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> And let me promise you girls something. Uh -huh. As long as you keep scratching our backs, we'll keep scratching yours. That's more like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I like that. Mm. I like that. Man. I like that. Proof is not what I'm thinking. I like that. I like that. Come here. <laughs> 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 okay, so guys, where did we go from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony, where do we go from here? Like, cause I'm, 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 I'm close. You know the number one thing, right? Yeah, baby. From here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Majestically. Yeah, baby. Huh? Into the fear of dreams. My husband. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Take me away. Oh, yeah, baby. Wow. Take me to paradise. Uh-huh. 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 Ah, madam, welcome. Where have you been? Madam, I don't know where I keep my key. I don't find key. I don't find key. I don't see key. I don't know where you get the open. I'm sorry, madam, Olivia. Uncle Tempo, my mommy's name is not Aravella. It's Annabella. Did you hear her? Yeah, madam, I don't hear. Madam, I'm not going to call you, madam. I'll call you, madam. I'm going to call you, big madam. I call you small madam one, I call you small madam two. You are welcome. Let's go inside. Auntie Benita, where is Uncle Tony? He's not in the house. What is, how is that your business? Is he your mate? Annabella, why are you scolding them? Eh? See, she has every right to act if her uncle is home. And so? They like, darling. You know, as a matter of fact, I was told you both are coming. So I met your. They invite me! <laughs> Kids. 
How have you been, my dear? Fine, so good to see you again. <laughs> but seriously, where's Tony? Is he ever home? That one? You hardly see him at home. Mm -hmm. My sister, forget it too, forget it. See, let me tell you. Do you know, I know some of Tony's concubines out there. You don't say? Yes. What are you doing about it? My sister, the only thing I find fulfilling is my job. Knowing that my job puts food on my table. That's it. Just that. Just that. At least look at me. I don't have a charge for him, so what do you think? See, Annabella, if Tony keeps resisting the idea of IVF, I might have no other option than to vacate this house. Benita. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. But how do people find out about their husband's concubines? <laughs> Annabella, <laughs> are you still a baby? Leave that thing. See, let me tell you, his phones or his emails. Hey. Yeah. My dear, I have to ask. I've never been to my husband's phone. Better be wise. Open your eyes. All these men. What are you even watching? Why don't you watch? Yes. Nothing. My name is Adesua Osagi, an online entrepreneur, and most importantly, sex therapist. What can Adesua do for you? Annabelle, stop this madness! You can't even deny it! You can't deny it! Then prove it! Prove what? The evidence is right there in your phone! You sent her 500,000 euro, didn't you? Do you know who that woman is to me? She's a client! That's a big lie! She's no client of yours! That woman sent you a romantic text message in appreciation and you replied! You replied, Jeff! Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? I ask you for money all the time, you give me excuses, but you're busy sharing money! Up and down! Delight, why does dad not love mom anymore? I don't even know. Maybe that is why he doesn't take us out anymore. I just feel like going on holiday. And leave mom all alone here? That has really changed. What are you both saying? Stop talking ill about your father. He is a good man. Sometimes, circumstances overwhelm good people, okay? I, I've told you several times, you're both too young to be discussing like this. You're welcome.
It's okay, girls, okay? I'm sure you had a long day at the office. Girls, why are you not eating? Blossom, Delight, what's going on? Dad, can't you see mom is not happy? Can't you see? Is that so? Honey, wake up. I want to talk to you. Honey, please wake up. Ooh. Can't you allow me rest for one night? I just want to talk to you. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Honey, why are you doing this to us? The kids and I. Why are you doing this to us? And what exactly are you accusing me of now? Your attitude, your attitude is beginning to negatively affect our children. You exposed them to our issues in the first instance. So whatever you're seeing right now, you enjoy it. Don't wake me up again. Thousand naira from Honorable Mustafa. <laughs> Adesua just started with men, just as they've been using and dumping their mama. I'm gonna hold up my feet now. Too fast! Too fast! Would you? What I told you about keeping late nights, can you? Is that what we're talking about here? Yeah? Come on, you do my food for me now. Mm. Oh, but we have food. I already made your food. You said you don't. Come, come, keep, keep quiet. I come back from work. There's, there's nothing prepared for me. What kind of a house are we living in? How do I keep these incidents and fights? between I and my husband, away from my kids. Knowing fully well how it affects them, psychologically and academically. No, 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 this is not good. I have to be mindful of how I speak to him in front of them. Yes, this is what I must do. Yes. Good morning, Dad. Morning, Blossom. Uh, the money I spoke to you about last night, I need to get some textbook from the bookshop. Okay, so go and ask your mom to give you money for the textbooks. Look, Blossom, not everything should be on daddy's neck. Buy food for you guys, clothes you guys, daddy this, daddy that. Go and ask your mother to help daddy out. Daddy, please. Blossom, my word is fine now. Go and get ready for school. Sir, some of the applicants are beginning to arrive. How many are there? Two for now. Okay, you can send them in. Alright, sir. I beg your pardon. What are you saying? 
I came to this place before you. Hello, you we came at the same time. So please, don't, don't, just, don't just try this. Wait, so because you think you opened the door, you want to sit down there? We came or the you think you were in first before me? Watch, that just will not watch, talk. I will go in before you. Wait, that one will not talk. Just, 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 just Oh, please, do not even try to yell at me. Are you I'm okay? I'm going to go in before don't you. Don't you dare yell at me. We came the same time. I am going to go there before we you. We did not come here at the same time. Yeah, the fact that here. you opened the door, that is what gives you the guarantee to sit down there. You're here talking nonsense. Oh my God, just watch out. I'm going there before you. What? What is going on here? Are you both aware that this is not a marketplace? This is an office for crying out loud. And my bosses are seated. I don't want this kind of noise here. Did you both apply online? Well, I did. I don't know about some people. I did. What is that I hear? Are you sure you came for this interview? And are you aware that this is an office? Will you throw that gum away? Immediately. Who is Eva? I am. And you are? Prisca. Eva? Come with me. Have you worked in a company before? No, sir. So what makes you think this job is right for you? Um, sir, I possess um, soft skills and I have a good communication skill. And I'm a fast learner also. Okay. Um, How much would you be expecting a salary from our company? 80,000 now, sir. Okay, um, how about I give you the job and I triple your salary? That is, of course, if you're willing to dance to my tune. Please, I don't understand. Come on, you're not a baby. What else can I possibly want from you? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. You know how it goes now. Sir, like you mean you and I? Look, you're thinking about it too much. I want you to take my business card. Once you sit down and process everything we've talked about, I'm expecting to get your call, right? Just say yes and the job is yours. Mm. Sir, is it what I am thinking? <laughs> it's exactly what you're thinking. Well, sir, I'm here for the job and I am ready. Good morning, sir. Ah, uh, that's all right? Yes, sir. Please, come and sit. Uh, that's what um, I've looked through your CV. Very impressive, but something is missing. Yeah, I... Oh, hello. Hi, good morning. Yeah, I'm, we'll talk later, right? Uh, no problem. <laughs> Your CV, very impressive, but something is missing. I don't get your point, sir. Oh, come on, Adeswa, you're not a child. <laughs> I know, but I still want you to come out straight. Okay, when applicants show up, I take it amongst myself to get more personal information from them. Adesua. Osagi. Osagi. Okay, that must mean you're from Edu. You're right. Age? 25. 25. What bank do you bank with? Diamond. Account number? 0063. 05. 05. 2425. 2425. Okay. Okay. 
manage that for now. And trust me, there's more where that came from. Wow. Thank you very much. Expect your appointment at any time from now. And also, um, get your passport ready because your training is going to be in Dubai, if that's not a problem with you. Sure, of course. Thank you very much, sir. And I promise to be a bunch of profit. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But bro, seriously, man, that girl impressed me, man. <laughs> what girl? A Desua now. I was with her yesterday, man. You need to see the way that girl handled me. Now I get the picture. Was that why you refused passing that over to me like we did with the other girls? Hey, 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 bro, 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 look. Don't go there. <laughs> Adesua is strictly for Jeff. You understand? Adesua and Jeff. She's off the market, bro. Obviously, <laughs> someone is falling madly in lust. Bro, seriously, I can do anything for that girl, man. Anything. To. So, what if your wife gets to find out about her? What do you think would happen? Honestly, right about now, I don't care what or how anybody thinks. What I know is Jeff and Adesua. And that's, that's what that matters to me, bro. Seriously. That's what that matters, man. Jeff, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I envy you. I envy you, seriously. Well, the only man that has another wardrobe in the trunk of his car. <laughs> oh, no, no. Very soon, you'll be driving around the whole town carrying a whole boutique. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Jeff, I am your wife. I have a right to ask questions. I've been waiting for you for God knows how long. Where are you coming from? Bravo! Now you know you're my wife, right? <laughs> if you must know, I was in a meeting. Are you becoming a drama queen? Nothing like rest. Jeff this, Jeff that. Where you been? Jeff, what, what is wrong with you? Jeff! Jeff, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Eh? You think I wouldn't know about the lie you lied to me about your company going bankrupt? You think I wouldn't investigate? Jeff! This is just, this is just too much. This is just fucking too much! Don't fight me again. I'm not thinking, not thinking, not thinking. Someone can't even sleep in this house again, God, why? Drop this your idea of IVF, okay? Because I would never consent to it. Oh, nonsense, Tony. Nonsense. What do you mean by your decision is final? Eh? Oh, there'll be no idea. Tony. Oh, 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 You want to use my childlessness as an excuse for your infidelity, right? What has come over you? What is wrong with you? Tony, I am a woman for crying out loud. God! My time is taken away! What is it? What is it, Tony? Drop this! Drop this! I'm talking to you and you're drinking! Drop this! Tony, let me tell you something. If not for one thing, 
If not for one thing, I would have brought you where you belong. Benita, if you continue like this, I will have no other choice than to throw you out of this house. Aha! Tommy, do your worst! Do your worst, Tony! Tommy, do your worst! Throw me out of the house! Do your worst, Tony! Do your worst! You can do nothing! Nothing. Oh, where do you think you're going to? Tony, where do you think you're going to? You're going nowhere. There will be no peace for you in this house, Tony. So you change your mind. There will be no peace for you in this house. Nonsense. What kind of man are you? Listen. What is all this? Uh -uh. 20 over 40. Listen. What's going on? Open your own. Let me see. Thirty over fifty. Same thing. What is happening? Hey? Your marks are going down by the day. What is going on? You couldn't pay attention in the class again. The principal is not impressed. And I'm displaced too. I can't hide it anymore. Now we are going to the principal's office so that two girls will apologize to her. Do you get me? Let's go. Phone not reachable. Why is Mommy's phone switched off? Call Daddy now. Call Daddy, call. I don't want to speak to Daddy. Why is Mommy's phone not reachable now? Why is Mommy's phone not reachable? Why can't Snap not reach her? Hi, girls. Hey, girls. Why? You both look sad. Is everything okay? Mom, we've not eaten anything since morning. How? But I left food in the microwave. Mommy, before we walk out, Daddy has already eaten everything I left. Ma, he didn't make anything. Okay, don't worry. I have this, all right? You both manage it, then I'll rush to the kitchen and make you food, okay? I'll be very fast, all right? All right, baby. It's okay. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually at the office. <laughs> okay, so what time? Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Now, that, that, no problem, that's perfect. No problem, no problem, no problem. So um, I guess I'm, I'll see you then, right? Okay, <laughs> no problem. Hi, baby. Okay, I'll, 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 get, I'll get back to you, I'll get back to you. Hey, oh, uh, is this you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I still you to keep it intact for me. I love that. And you look handsome this oh. You know I love seeing you around. <laughs> ah, so, Baby, hmm? this thing I've been nursing in my mind. Okay, tell me about it and stop nursing it. I have a business proposal for you. Okay. So there's this land I want you to invest on. And the land appreciates very, very fast. And I'm the broker for the property. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a hustler. So you're into real estate? Of course. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so a land you want to invest in, how much am I looking at? Just five million naira. Five million. You know what? Consider it done. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I'll see you later. Ah, this one. Hello, this one. Bye. All right, I'll see you guys. Okay. <laughs> So, hey! Why was she screaming? Oh, you know, women always wanting something. She actually came to me about one investment she was interested in. About Did you know she was into real estate? No. Okay, anyway, she came to me she said about one land that's really appreciating and she wants to, you know, she needs help purchasing a land. 
um, she told me the land was like five million. So I just said, you know, let me just help her out. You know, I just. <laughs> uh, and continue. And I gave her the money. <laughs> Tony, what about Jeff now, yeah? I don't like this kind of joke. Tony, what? Tony, what? Hold on. You really serious? I, I gave her. You gave her five million dollars for what? Someone, you just come into your office and cook up something and sell to you and you just buy it like that. Jeff, you gave her five, five million dollars for nothing. You the mad? You well at all? Tony, come listen to the office now. Just lower your voice. Come, I just did to you. Come, Tony, 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 Daddy, you said in John 14, 14 that if I shall ask for anything, Father, you will give me. But please destroy this body in our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God and my Lord, you are the one who gave these children to I and my husband. Father, wherever their father is, whatever it is that is dividing this family, Destroy it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bring back their father in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever it is, whoever it is that is causing division and separation between my husband and I, Father, destroy it in Jesus' name. Amen. Rise in your anger, O oh Lord, and scatter my enemies. I know that you can unite my family. As their class teacher, I have to call to let the complaint to you so that you take care of them at home. Okay, Miss Nancy, I hear you. I, I promise they will improve. Okay, Ma. Thank you very much. All right, bye. <laughs> Babe, now you they do yourself. They they make pants, they wear you. Hey, see my own waist feet. I don't collect them, no time. <laughs> now, husband, my own not to just to sell let. I busy money. How much is it? I busy clothes. Hey, see, let me tell you. Enjoy and die. Or suffer and die. <laughs> and you know me now. I cannot come and kill myself. I don't have any more money. All I have has gone into feeding my family, buying food stuffs, paying school fees. All my money is gone, brother. My husband has totally abandoned his responsibility. I know. After speaking to him the other time, I thought he was going to make a change. He didn't do anything. Rather, he made everything worse. The only thing left for him to do now is bring another woman into our matrimonial home. It's that bad. Then you must have to go and see a doctor for a proper diagnosis and check up. Yes, but these things take money. I don't have money. I don't have money to go to the hospital. Don't worry, I'll send you some money. tell you something. If by next month and the money comes out completely and you're still resisting the idea, then I'll do my worst. <laughs> you know what, sweetheart? You would never cease to amuse me. You had better start doing your worst, okay? Because I, Tony, would never agree to the idea of IVF, whatever name you give it. Really? You're, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere! Annabelle. Hi. Annabella. How long have you been standing here? 
He infected me. What? That was a huge mistake you made, man. Mistake? Mistake did you say? Bro, do you know what Anne did to me? What exactly did she do to you that you had to walk her out of the house with the kids in the dead of the night? What? Bro, I don't even know the kind of woman I'm married to no more, man. I feel like a prisoner in my own house. I come in, she's always suspecting me of something. I move this way, she's watching me. Can you imagine she even went through my phone, read my messages and saw, and saw business transactions with clients and thought I was cheating on her with women. But the worst of it, she left my house. I went to that her stupid brother and, and, and told him I infected her with an STD. Can you imagine? What kind of woman am I married to, bro? Jeff. Jeff. What is it now? Are you sure you're not responsible for the infection? You Barman. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Jeffrey. Jeff, I know in the house. Come out here. Jeff. Jeff, come out here. Jeffrey! Me, I know the reason for this shouting. It's really loud and I prefer it to be more civil. You want me to be civil, Jeff? You infected my sister and beat her blue black. You want me to be civil? Mr. Samuel will really call you. As you can see, I was on my way out, so I'm giving you to the count of 10 to get out of my compound. The compound? <laughs> Jeff! Don't worry. Obviously, we are going to paint the whole town. Come on, man. This thing looks serious. My wife's brother came to my house today. Look what he did to my face. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to deal with him. Are you really being serious right now? Yeah. So, what about your wife and kids? They can go to hell for all I care. Really? Yeah, they can go to hell. Jeff. I don't really know what to say, but I just hope you know what you're doing, man. I just hope you know what you're doing.
was returning. It's you. Sorry, yeah. I slept off. No, it's okay. Um, Annabelle, I love you. What? I, I can't get you out of my mind. Tony, are you okay? What, what, what nonsense are you talking about? Listen, Annabelle, I'm really so into you. Um, allow me to take good care of you. Tony! What is wrong with you? You are my husband's best friend. I am your wife's best friend. I know. Okay, let's just do this like... If you touch me again, I'll break down this roof. So you left your office to come here to tell me this rubbish, knowing fully well your wife won't be around and my kids won't be around? I needed a quiet time with you. Okay, just let just... If you touch me one more time, I'm going to smack your head. I promise you that. Anna... Life has turned out to be a mystery tone. Jeff's attitude has drastically taught me never to trust any man again. To my greatest surprise, Tony, I thought, would have cuddled I and the kids carefully, was pleading to have me. Oh, what a world. Why are things degenerating this way for me? Annabelle, why? Why? I mean, why are you getting yourself so worked up in this manner? Benita, you won't understand. You won't understand. See, Annabelle, whatever it is that is boggling you, just forget it. I mean, and, and carry on with your life. Where, where are the kids? They're sleeping. I will say, come, come. Come, let's go inside, eh? So you can have a rest. And at least um, take a good shower. You'll be all right. It's okay. Hey, babies. Blue Silence, are you okay? Mm, I don't like it here. I miss home. I don't like it here. Yes, ma, I don't want to stay here again. Is that why you people are not even watching TV? Yes, mom. I'm not in the mood to watch TV. Come here. Come here. Stay around with you. Where did Annabella, my friend, go to? What have you done to her and the kids? Mara, I don't know. In she just came. She tell me, say, uh, make her tell you, say, she love you. She not left. She didn't tell me anything, no. I'm sorry, Mara, I don't know. Mara, I'm angry. Mara, I'm not the face again. The face. Mara, I'm not fair. Me, I don't know. Because I don't you just come. Just say, I tell you, say, you love you. You don't go there. And you don't give me. I don't even know what I want to say. Uh, who is there? I'm coming. Blossom! Oh God! Delight! Wow! You're welcome! You're welcome! Give me your bags, please! Open it, just get it! Hand it! Oh, what's up with it? Alright!
What did he say? Did you see him? Jeff is really something else. I took the car back to him and he promised more fight. Don't be overwhelmed with all this. I promise I'll put everything in order. Okay? Thank you very much, brother, for all you do for the kids and I. But where do we go from here? Where do we go? I don't have anywhere to go. Hello, no be hard for. Why they do like this now? Come fair, come, come bless your heart, come black. Eh, no be hard for. Good afternoon, uncle. Now they greet me. I know why you're greeting. Why they greet me? Eh, this your bread. No be for sale. I feel buy and join too. So how much bread you want? See, I I buy the old bread. If you follow me, go my house. Eh, my jewels. See, I buy the old bread. So that's what you even want to call me for. See this one, no. See this one. I will try help, self. See I be, see I be like Indian wish. Oh, man, I go para. If I follow you now, if you do any other thing, so the boy will come carry your bread past me. See all these small, small fine girls who are supposed to school they read. They use these streets, they hawk egg and bread. Federal government is supposed to come do I for road, make that they see what they see. No! I'm not going to agree. Chai! See how they fine. How much is Hollandia? Hollandia is 650. 650? Uh, bring that one. That's so yeah. Thank you. Right. Come back again, no? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, my children. How was today? Mommy, we didn't really make much. You didn't sell much? Yes. Hey, hey. there's no problem. Yeah, Mommy, there's water mine. in the fridge. Oh, you people tried now. Eh? It's not every day that people sell well. It's okay. You tried. I think we should start packing up to go. It's already late. Hmm? Tomorrow is another day. Let's go. Jeff, what is wrong with you? I mean, what? Why are you doing this to yourself? And why is that gate open? Why is everywhere open? What is your gate, man? Jeremiah! Jeremiah! I sacked him. You what? You sacked your gate man after sending your wife and kids back in? What is wrong with you? What has come over you? How did it get this bad? <sighs> Jeff. I want you. I want you, but you wouldn't listen. Jeff, you went ahead and took that loan for that stupid girl called at this one. Now look at where he has landed you. Jeff, now that the company has rusticated you, where do you go from here? Where do you go from here. Shut up. Shut up! I laughed at you! 
this my wife and kids are nowhere to be found I've lost my job and everything that I have God please help me show me where to locate my family they are all I have I know I've wronged you in so many ways, but I'm turning around for good. I think Benita will be in a better position to help me right now. hasn't been easy for the kids and I, but I thank God for his grace. We're still alive. At least when there's life, there is hope. You know, I thank God for your life as well. You know, very soon this battle will be over. Because I mean, Jeff is dying seriously to have you and the kids back. I mean, you've not seen him yet because he doesn't know where and how to start from. Please, 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 Benita, please. Promise me you will never bring Jeff here. He's the last person I want to set my eyes on. Don't say that. See, remember, to err is woman and to forgive is divine. I mean, it's important we all learn how to forgive. And Jeff has been thrown out of the company because of a loan he collected and was unable to pay back two weeks like he promised. Why, Jeff? Why? I never wronged him. I never, I never hurt him. You know, you just have to forgive and forget. Okay? Let me get you something to drink. Okay, let's go. I'll be back to you. All right. It's hard. Now sit down. Hey, what? Are you remembering the fruit of that is clockwise? It's very important because the heat. Please sit down. Oh, is this what I'm talking about? It's just so funny. Like, it's just so funny. And everybody is that part of the written. He will learn it too. And it's just like this one. Do I just leave me in this one? Mommy. Mommy. Are you okay? 
<laughs> oh man, I don't like this new school we're going to. I don't like it. I feel our old school. I don't want to stay here. I don't, I don't, I don't like this it's new okay, school. It's okay, my darling. Baby, you know that we don't have money. Hmm? You have to manage this new school for now. But I assure you, soon you all will go back to your old school, okay? Everything will be fine. Don't cry. Okay? Go and get the what is he doing here? I told you not to bring him here. Calm down, Annabelle. Okay? See, nothing has spoiled. Trust me. Dad, go. We hate you. Yes, Dad, we hate you. Babies, you don't have to say that, okay? See, for the sake of love and God, you all should please forgive Jeff. Please. Annabelle, please. Baby, I'm, I'm so sorry. You all look so beautiful, my angel. I mean, you're so excited, right? <laughs> Where you guys are ready, Dad. Hey. Ladies, there's been a change of plans. Actually, we're not going to be going out again today. Why? They're already dressed. You can't deny it! Then prove it! Prove what? The evidence is right there in your phone! You sent her 500,000 euro, didn't you? Do you know who that woman is to me? She's a client! That's a big lie! She's no client of yours! That woman sent you a romantic text message in appreciation and you replied! You replied, Jeff! Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? I ask you for money all the time. You give me excuses, but you're busy sharing money. I'm so sorry. Do I owe you an explanation? For real? Jeff, I am your wife. I have a right to ask questions. I've been waiting for you for God knows how long. Where are you coming from? Bravo! Now you know you're my wife, right? <laughs> if you must know, I was in a meeting. Are you becoming a drama queen? Hmm? Sorry for everything you went through. I'm truly sorry. 